Hi, this is Rose from Channel C. Thank you for joining me again today. On the first video, I have shown you how to create an account in Channel C. But today, I'm going to show you how to make a chart. So let's get started. As you can see, we are now on the home page. And for us to make charts, let's click the tab Chart Coaster. The first thing you need to do is pick a currency pair. So for now, we only have Euro US dollars since we're only using a trial version. But now we are preparing more data to come. Next one should be the period. So this is 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours, 1 day, 1 week. Uh, by the way, the period is the time interval that the chart updates. So let's say, for example, a period set to D1 or 1 day. That means that each point on the chart represents one trading day of data. And let's say, for example, we put it to 5 minutes. That means that each point on the chart represents 5 minutes of data. Okay, so let's put it to 30 minutes. Now let's pick the date range. The historical data that we have available is only from March 20 to June 20, 2013 only. Since I mentioned earlier that this is only a trial version, we are just using it for the purpose of tutorial. And if we try to pick a date out of range, let's say for example June 30, and then let's click this one, you will get an error message saying that the date is out of range. You should choose a date between March 19, 2013 to June 20, 2013. Just hit OK. So now let's click a date, let's say June 5, 2013. When you click a date, you should click first the year and then the day. Then hit get OHLC data and your chart will appear. If you know how to read charts, it will be very helpful to make trading decisions. But many traders use indicators to help them make a wiser trading analysis or decision. And these tools can help a trader find the price trends and predict future price movement. And for this particular chart, we will be using MA. MA is in here or moving average. And how to apply that? Just drag the MA indicator tab to the chart like this. Most moving averages are based on closing prices. So that's what we're going to do. This is five day period. Shift 0 and SMA. So let's hit OK. And if you hover over your mouse, you will see on the third line, it says the same thing. 5 day period, Shift 0, and the method we use, which is SMA. Let's drag it again. Let's try 15. See, it created a different line. OK, and uh, let me explain how to use another, another info on the parameter tab of moving average, which is the shift. You can also move the SMA line from right to left. Just use the shift. Earlier we used zero, but if you want to move it right, then you should put a positive number. Like for example, let's put five. And then you will see if I hit OK, you will get the same exact copy of the SMA. It's the same figure, but it moves a little to the right. All right, now let's try to move it to the left this time. So earlier, if it's right, then we should put a positive number, correct? But if we need to get, like, if you want to move it to the left side, then let's use negative number. Let's say, for example, negative 5. Okay, see, this is our SMA line. And if, if you want to move it to the left side, we put negative 5, then it move a little bit to the left. It's the same exact SMA line, but it moved to the left. So that's how you do it. So now our chart has a lot of indicator lines. A total of four indicator lines, and it looks really messy and confusing already. So if you want to delete a line, it's very easy to do. So all you need to do is just go here to clear indicator on the upper right corner. Just click it. And then if you want to remove the last line that you input, you must click this drop down button 
and go to the last one at the input. So if we remove the last one, 9, and hit OK, this is the last one that we did, right? So if you will see, this will be removed. There you go. And just continue doing it. Uh, the plus 5, that's the one that we uh, input second to the last. So let's try to remove it. That is this one. Okay, there you go. So what we have is only period 5, which is SMA, and also period 15. So let's also remove the last one, which is period 15. There you go. It doesn't look confusing anymore. Okay, so let me introduce another popular indicator line for you, which is what we call RSI. This one. It's also called Relative Strength Index. So all you need to do is just drag it on the chart again. Okay, and then you will see this is the default level, 30, 50, 70. Okay, and then you can also change that to a different number, but uh, we'll do that later. Let's just uh, try to do this 30, 50, 70, just to show you. Here you go. So this is over 70, this is below 30. So when you say that, an asset is deemed to be overbought once the RSI approaches the 70 level. So meaning that it may be getting overvalued and it's a good candidate for a pullback. Likewise, if the RSI approaches 30, below 30, it is an indication, indication that the asset may be getting oversold and therefore likely to become undervalued. You know, one good thing about this tool is that you can add more charts if you want to. It could be another indicator or the same indicators. Like this, let me show you. Uh, earlier we added RSI with uh, 30, 50, 70 levels, right? So, but this time we're going to add another one. It's the same thing, just RSI again. But we're going to change this to 40 and then this one is 60. Okay, you will see it will be added on the bottom part. Look at that. See, it's the same indicator line but it could be added in here. Alright. Another good feature of this tool is that you can make an indicator line basing from another indicator. So let's make an SMA line from an RSI, basing from an RSI, this one. So let me drag MA. Alright, so earlier this one, this, this line, this is close rate, okay? But I want to get the SMA of this RSI. So let me pick indicator and then this one too. Since that is the last one that we made, then the position should be on the last two. All right, for reference line, it always starts with zero. That's the default. Zero is one, one is two. So let's click OK. There you go. All right. Actually, we can change colors, so let me show you how we can do that. So let me remove it. We're going to do the same thing, but always make sure that your um, screen should be on 100%. I should zoom it out to 100% because if it's on 75% or anything lower than that, the changing of color might not work. So let me show you. Let me drag it again. Let me put indicator here, same thing that we did earlier. All right, indicator line. I want to pick maybe pink. So do not move this black thing. You must click the color bar like that. It will move on its own. Okay, and then click. All right and then press OK. There you go. Shows a different color. Well that's about it for now. I just want to show you how to make charts and apply basic indicators. And as you know these features are really helpful for you to make wise decisions in trading. So that's why it's really important for you to know how to navigate and apply these tools. Thank you for watching. See you soon.